All right, so today we're talking about the small intestine, and there's just a couple of ways that um, nutrients can get across the small intestine or ions. And so I just want to remind you of a few transport options. So the first is facilitated diffusion. So let's say we have a cell membrane and we have an ion or some nutrient that needs to get across it, but normally that cell membrane wouldn't be permeable to the thing. All right, so we're going to just draw in a little protein channel. And so it might start that, oops, a little more cell membrane. So it might start that this thing could bind here, right? And so then what it does, the channel can change shape in order to transport that thing across it. So now this, uh, this ion or this nutrient has come into the channel. It's in the middle of the channel, right? And now this channel will just keep changing shape, right, until that thing has been able to pass entirely through it. So facilitated diffusion is the idea that this channel is going to change shape perhaps to allow something to pass from one side of the cell membrane to the other. Uh, the other idea is symporters and antiporters. So this is an active transport mechanism where let's say we have a protein channel again and we're trying to get something from this side of the cell membrane to this side of the cell membrane. So when maybe two different things are bound into the symporter, once they're both there, they'll get transported across the cell membrane at the same time in the same direction. And then what if we have an antiporter? So again, another channel in the cell membrane or another protein in the cell membrane. And so let's say on this side, we have the circle thing bound and on this side, we have the square thing bound. So once they're both bound to these spots on the protein, uh, the one will go in one direction and the other will go in the other direction. And so antiporters are moving substances across the cell membrane in opposite directions. So that's your little reminder about transport.